Hello everyone, Gareth from Aston Sam for you again today. Welcome to another Valve Source Code tutorial. This time around I'm doing the first viewer requested tutorial from Those Knees the Bees Have. Talking about the Source Shader Editor and how to get it to work in a Source 2013 mod. So if you're watching, then here's the video. So first and foremost, I've already tried to do this tutorial by following the guide as outlined on the Valve Developer Wiki. And unfortunately, it seems to have problems. For instance, the graphics don't work as they're supposed to. And more often than not, you end up with crashes, breakpoint errors, and you're not even able to load into a map. And so that's obviously not good. So in this case, I am hoping to put together a guide that results in the least amount of crashes possible, though you're still going to have some problems. For example, if you try and take a screenshot, then it's going to cause the game to crash. So just keep stuff like that in mind. And since this is talking about the source shader editor, uh, it's more like shader graphs. It reminds me of shader graphs from Unity. Um, and I have no experience about using stuff like that. That's above my pay grade. So, you know, don't ask me about tutorials about using the source shader graph because I don't know what I'm doing. So this is just the implementation of the source shader editor. So you want to go to Biohazard 90's GitHub page. I'll leave a link in the description below. And you want to click on the green button that says code and download the zip of this code. This is the source shader editor master. And once that's downloaded, you want to navigate into it and find the SRC folder. And inside of there, there's going to be the shader editor platform.vpc file. So you want to open it up and you want to change the target SRC directory to your code SRC directory. So in my case, I've created a folder called shader proj and inside of there is a folder called SRC. Then target platform X, you want to leave it as is because it's set to source 2013 by default. Though you can use Alien Swarm, source 2007, and I think even Portal 2 is there for some reason, but that's experimental. But you don't need to do anything with that. It's source 2013 by default, so just leave that. And then in the target game directory, it wants you to go to Steam, Steam apps, source mods, and then a mod folder. But in my case, I'm just using the stock mod underscore HL2 folder that comes with the source SDK 2013 code. So in my case, it's just going to be shader proj game mod HL2. And then once you've made these changes and saved this file, then just run the create shader editor project batch file. And what this is going to do is create a solution file for the shader editor. And then you just want to load that up. You may have an error saying that you have to upgrade projects. Don't worry about that. I went through it and it works perfectly fine. And if you just build the solution with the release build, not the debug build like I show in the video, but with the release version, you should be able to build the solution with no problems. And what happens is that the necessary game shader stuff and the shader editor files gets sent to the target game directory location. In the bin folder, you'd get a game shader DX6, yes, DX6 file, as well as game shader DX9 and the shader editor 2013.dll files, I believe. So then when, when this is done, you want to get out of the shader editor master folder and go copy the shader editor folder inside of the client folder and you just want to paste this folder in the src game client folder so if you go game client then you should see shader editor as a folder amongst all of the other clients code stuff then going back to the shader editor master folder you want to go into the game folder and copy the contents within that folder into your game directory so in this case it's just my mod hl2 folder so it'll go shader proj game mod hl2 inside that mod hl2 folder you want to paste in the stuff like the game info text and all that sort of stuff when this is done you want to go into your game client folder so where you pasted the uh shader editor folder 
And you want to scroll down until you see the client underscore and then whichever version of the game that you're going to do this for. So in my case, it's HL2. So I'm going to find client underscore HL2.vpc. Open it up and near the top, there is a dollar sign preprocessor definitions line. And at the end of it, you just want to go semicolon to create a new parameter in there and type in source in all caps underscore 2013. And then wherever in this file, but you know, towards the end in my case, you want to add in dollar sign folder and then in speech marks shade editor. And then in square brackets, put in dollar sign win in all capitals win32. Then the curly braces to open and close. Um, that's just how you do it. Then dollar sign folder and then in speech marks header files. Then more sets of curly braces. And then you want dollar sign file and then in speech marks uh, dollar sign srcdir in all caps. Then backslash game backslash client black backslash shader editor and then backslash is edit underscore model render dot h as shown in the video. And then you just copy and paste this and paste the lines so it says exactly the same thing except you want to change is edit underscore model render dot h to iv shader editor dot h shader editor system dot h s edit underscore model render dot h and if you want to then you can have shader editor backslash grass backslash c grass cluster dot h if you choose to use it you don't have to include that uh, and then outside of the curly braces for the header files you want to do dollar sign folder and then in speech marks implementation files and then a new set of curly braces and then which uh, much or less the same stuff here dollar sign file and then in speech marks dollar sign src dir backslash game backslash client like clients backslash shade editor backslash shade editor system dot cpp and then you can copy and paste that line and then just replace shade editor system with s edit underscore model render dot cpp and if you choose to then the same line but you know shade editor backslash grass backslash seagrass cluster dot cpp if you want to use that file so it's probably easy if i show you in the video what it is that you want to have because saying all of this it's confusing so if you just copy the format and in the valve developer wiki um guide it does basically tell you this stuff so you can just copy and paste it from there maybe i should have just said that but anyway once that is done you want to save this and the problem now is that if you go into Visual Studio and try and build the solution, you're going to get an error with VPC saying, oh, there's an inconsistency with version numbers, so you need to use VPC to uh, update the solution. So historically, I hate doing this, but in my case, it's fairly easy, and I'll outline what you need to do here. So you want to navigate to your source code directory, then go into DevTools and then bin, and you should see an executable called VPC here. Uh, and then you just want to go to the command prompt. So just type in CMD, load up the command prompt, then do CD, which means change directory, and copy the directory. So it's blah, 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 SRC DevTools bin. Copy all of that and then paste it after CD and it changes the directory to that location. And if you've never used it before, you can use VPC forward slash H to get an idea of everything that you need to do. But in my case, the very first thing that it says as guidance is VPC plus client forward slash HL2, which builds the client version of the Half-Life 2 code. And that's what I'm editing. So you just type that in and it will say something like, oh, you need to rebuild the solution or something. But that's from within Visual Studio. So don't worry about that. Um, in my case, I already had Visual Studio open. So yeah, in this case, now you want to go to the games solution in your SRC folder and open it up if you haven't done already. And in this case, I've already had it open. So you just click reload all and it just updates the client HL2 project. But if you haven't had it open, then you should see that the client HL2 project now has a shader editor folder. And in the shader editor folder, there's the header files and the implementation files. So once that is done, you want to go into viewrender.cpp in the clients and source files directory. And near the end of the hashtag includes, above the one where it's the tier zero mem debug or whatever it's called, 
Just add in hashtag include and then in speech marks shader editor forward slash shader editor system dot h. Uh, and then after that, you want to find the C view render colon colon render view. And you want to scroll down until you see the comments. If the 3D skybox world is drawn, blah, de, blah, de, blah. And inside the, an if statement there, uh, you want to add in G underscore shader editor system and then an arrow update sky mask and then in brackets false view.x view.y view.width and view.height then further down in this you want to go to where it says now actually draw the view model blah 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 and then you want to add in g underscore shader editor system arrow update sky mask and then in brackets b drew 3d skybox view.x view.y view.width and view.height and then above a comment that says, and here are the screen space reflections, you want to add in G underscore shader editor system, arrow, custom post render brackets, and then end with a semicolon. So after this, you want to go and find C view render colon colon view draw scene. And in between where there's a bit that says draw world and entities and above disable fog, then you want to add in visible fog volume info underscore t and call it fog volume info then render arrow get visible fog volume and in brackets view the origin comma and fog volume info then after this you want to water render info underscore t called info then you want to determine the water render info using the fog volume info and the info and then last but not least g underscore shade editor system arrow custom view render and in brackets and g underscore current view id fog volume info and then info so if you're following the valve developer wiki guide then some of the header files don't actually uh, have the update sky mask included correctly so you have to add in the x y w h stuff but because we've done it from the github page directly we don't need to do this it should show up as being correct so you should be able to just build the solution with the release version preferably but in my case i use the debug version because the shader editor stuff earlier was compiled in the debug version so in your case you want to actually compile that with the release version as i kind of mentioned earlier and now you want to create the client side project with the release version preferably though you can use the debug version if you want to uh, and then it should build properly there should be one error but that's the episodic client project but we don't care about that because we've got the half-life 2 project and then if you're dealing with the episodic code you should get one compilation error and that's from the half-life 2 code but that doesn't matter for the episodic stuff right so you should get one compilation error but it's not anything to worry about and then if you do want to solve it then you just follow the stuff that i mentioned earlier about the client underscore game dot vpc file and then just add in the necessary stuff there and then use vpc to update the project and then you should be able to build it properly because you've already edited view render dot cpp and that applies to both client hl2 and client episodic projects okay so in my case i start debugging now i do recommend checking out episode 0.5 of this tutorial series to be in a position to start debugging but essentially you want the command to be pointing to your Steam apps common source SDK based 2013 single player hl2.exe. Then in the command arguments you want allow debug dev sw for start windowed con debug console to console dash game and then in speech marks the location of your source mod. So in my case it's shader proj game mod hl2. And then you want to add in here at some point before dash game dash shader edit to load up the shader editor. And then in the working directory, you want to point to your blah, 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 steam apps, common source SDK based 2013 single player. So what you should notice is when you start debugging, it should load straight into the source shader editor. And I had problems when I tried to actually load a map. Uh, you can't load up a map or map underscore background when I tried this initially. But I believe if you've said if you've, if you've done what I've told you, which is to uh, compile stuff in the release version throughout, then you should just be able to load up a map. SDK underscore vehicles is the default map, and it should load up perfectly fine. 
and because we've used the GitHub version, all of the color stuff and post-processing stuff in the source shade editor should work perfectly fine. And you can see stuff working on the fly. Um, though if you do get problems, for me, historically, it's been with the line render arrow push 2D view, blah, 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 blah. But I think that's because, as I said earlier, the, the shade editor stuff was built using the debug version and not the release version and so when trying to do the client stuff in the release version it's causing some incompatibilities there so just do everything in the release version you should be okay and so you should be able to use shader editor i've looked at how to do a desaturation shader graph i have no idea what's going on but it works and you can test other post-processing effects or other things and see how it looks through the source shader editor. So if you're wondering on if I'm going to do any guides about how to use shader graphs, then that's not going to happen because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Uh, I'm sure there's other people out there who would actually be more than willing to help you with shader graph stuff. But that's not going to be me because I don't know what's going on. So... Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful and if you enjoyed it leave a like subscribe for more If you want me to do any sort of tutorials I can look into it to the best of my knowledge, but I'm not an expert with this as I always say So with all that being said and done take care out there Let me know if you have any problems I might not be able to help you but you know as I said this has its fair share of problems one of the things you cannot do for example is take a screenshot because that crashes the game and I don't know how to fix it so don't do that but everything else you should be able to use perfectly fine so yeah take care out there and see you next time